Hey folks, John Energeski here with ANJ Outdoors, and today we're doing something a little different. We're doing an unboxing. Brand new GoPro 9. Many of you probably already know it's out there, some of you already have it and know more about it than I do, uh, but for those of you that it's new to, I figured I would share it with you. Before I open it up, let's go over some of the really important things. Dollars, okay? So if you go to GoPro's website, you can buy it there. Um, buy it just straight out, it's $449.99. However, if you buy it with a one year subscription to GoPro, their online system, kind of like a 360 where you can, or 365 where you can access different things, you get a, uh, up to 50% off on any accessories that you buy for it, those kind of things. So if you get the GoPro 9 that you see right here and the subscription, they cut it down to $349.98. So basically, you're getting about $100 off the price and you're getting the subscription. So to me, it was a no-brainer. That's how we're gonna do it. All right, the newest camera I have, GoPro, well, I've been using GoPros for years, many years, but the newest one I have is the five we're shooting this on right now. So this is gonna be a great upgrade for me, but what about those folks that have eights? So first, let's take a peek at it. What we got here? Pull the little string off the bottom. Like, look at there. No more plastic dome that your GoPros would come in and all that stuff, and you just mm -hmm. do it away. Um, this one is got its own little carrying case. It's kind of nice. Feels heavy duty, says GoPro on it. So let's open her up. And there you go. So in the top, got some literature. Subscribe to GoPro, but if you did what I did, you're already subscribed. You did that part online already. Some quick little instructions and booklet. Awesome. You also got, of course, a cable to charge it with. You got a battery, all right? And we'll talk about the batteries here in a minute. And then you got the components to mount it. You got the curved, sticky one. You got the shoe that it goes on. You got that. So. That's the basic the camera and these guys here. All right, so let's take a look at this camera now. Doo, doo, doo. It's definitely bigger than any GoPro I've ever used, which again, my GoPros have been from back when they had the Go, first GoPro up to GoPro 5. I haven't upgraded since then. Um, so we got a little piece of plastic to take off the outside of it. Got screen protectors take off of it. Another screen protector and another screen protector. Okay. The one thing I did when I ordered this is I ordered a double battery charger that came with another battery because you always need more batteries. So I know when I put the battery in this thing to go uh, set it up right now, the battery that came with it has very little power on it. It's not going to be able to make it through the process probably. So in foresight i went ahead and hooked this guy up charged him all night he's charged up this is the one we're going to put in there to set this thing up so let's talk about this thing a little bit this battery is not compatible with any of the other gopros right so uh gopro 3 plus had a certain type of battery the gopro 4 had a different battery gopro 5 had yet another different battery that battery lasted from the 5 to the 8 and now the 9 has a new battery it's a lot bigger just like the camera is and um, it's supposed to give you 30% more uh, life, right, before it goes dead on you than the uh, GoPro 8 batteries. So it's worth it, right? 30% more life. That's one of our biggest things is our batteries dying on us. Um, another thing you might notice, I haven't powered it up, but this front screen isn't just like the old GoPros that told you information about what's going, your recording, battery life, all that. It's actually a video screen. So what you're seeing on the back screen, right, you can see on the front screen, which is pretty cool if you're doing any type of vlog type stuff where you're holding the camera and looking at yourself with the camera. Now you can see what you got framed, right? So there's no cutting pieces off or including stuff in that video that you didn't want to include. So that's pretty nice. We'll check that out. So this again is an unboxing. I'm going to show you everything that's in here and tell you about some of the capabilities. Next time we'll do a review after I've had it, I've run it, set it up and everything. We'll do a review on how to do all that.
Another thing, so my GoPro 5 has a removable lens cover, you know, so if I scratch it or crack it or whatever, I can replace it. Uh, and then on the GoPro what, 6 and 7 Black, both of those had a removable lens cover. And then the GoPro 8 came out without a removable lens cover, and that upset a lot of people because they want to be able to do that. So it's back. You got a removable lens cover. Uh, I don't want to mess this thing up when I do it, but I want to show you guys. Okay, got it pulled out. Rotate. All right, take it off. This one's different. If you got a five, six, seven, it was just a little plastic piece that held that on. This is more like a lens mount. The interesting thing about that is, is GoPro is coming out with a, another lens, uh, the Max Lens Mod, right? So it's a lens you can order now. I'm on the waiting list, so it's not out there yet. That's one of the things with this nine is there's not a lot of stuff out there available yet. But anyways, you can change that lens. That lens gives you a super wide angle. Uh, does a few other things for you as far as uh, image stabilization and stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. A lot of people are predicting that some third-party manufacturers are going to come up with some other types of lenses, right, that you could put on it. I guess we just wait and see. All right, it's on there. They claim it's waterproof down to 33 feet without putting it in a protective case. So 33 feet, that's pretty good. You know, a little over 10, 10 yards down or about... 10 meters, I guess. It supposedly does better in cold weather. You know, if you're getting really cold weather, uh, these things might want to shut down on you. Unfortunately, um, I'm in South Texas. We don't get that cold here. Another capability that I'm looking forward to uh, using on this is, and figuring out when you use it, is horizon leveling, okay? When you set it up in horizon leveling, the background, the horizon is always level. You can take the camera and rotate it, 360 if you want. The the picture's not gonna change, it's gonna stay level. Um, it's some kind of wizard magic they used to, <laughs> to make that happen. So I'm, I'm looking forward to messing with that. Also has eight times slow-mo, so you can do some real good slow motion stuff. It has the hyper smooth image stabilization, which is said to be better than the eight. Now I'm gonna be testing it against a five and I guarantee it's gonna be better than my five. They say you can live stream with this thing. That could be a game changer, live streaming with a GoPro. Uh, so I'm looking forward to digging into that capability. That would be very neat. And it has Time Warp 3.0. So you do those ones where it's over a time period and then it shortens up, speeds up, that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Photos. I don't usually take pictures with my GoPro, but the this 9 now takes uh, 20 megapixel pic pictures, which is really good for a GoPro. It's better than any of the other GoPros so far. It'll shoot in, of course, 1080p, uh, 2.7, uh, 4K, and 5K. And that's one of the things, now I'm a YouTuber, so uh, typically if you're using a phone to watch YouTube videos, you can't see the difference between 1080p and 4K, and I don't know if you could 5K, but if you got, like you put it up on your 4K TV, then yeah, you might be able to see the difference. But the thing is, it gives you a wider picture so you can do some zoom stuff in editing, and that's something I'll play around with probably for a follow-up review like I said earlier that I'm gonna do. Another neat thing it has is called hindsight. Okay, So with hindsight I have the camera on and I'm gonna use myself as an example. I've got it on the boat and it's on but it's not recording. Okay, And all of a sudden I get a big takedown on a rod. So now with my other GoPros I just miss the takedown. I push the button and start recording and that's what I get after the takedown. With hindsight it's uh, recording I believe it's 15 second loops. So when I hit record, not only do I get from that point where I hit record, but I get 15 seconds prior to me hitting that. I mean, so I have a greater uh, possibility of catching that stuff that happened right away. So that caught the, the rod getting hit. So I could see other places where you're trying to catch something moving quickly and all of a sudden it's there and you hit the button a little late, but with hindsight, now you've caught it. The one thing I have heard and we'll see, we'll test it ourselves is that the hindsight is a battery killer because basically the camera's on and it's recording and the whole time. So we'll see how that works out. And then it has a media mod. So those of you that are familiar with the, the GoPro 8, it had a media mod, basically a case it could go in, had cold shoes on it, had a microphone on it. And you know, the reviews on the microphone capability were, were you know, mixed. 
See, unfortunately for you, that medium mod will not fit the nine because the nine is just that much bigger than an eight. But the medium mod for the nine has those same capabilities. It comes with cold shoes attached. It has a microphone attached. It has a little foam cover for the microphone. Should help with wind noise a little bit. And it also comes with the ability to plug in your regular uh, microphone, that 3.5 whatever plug. It has that. So you could do plug in an additional external mic. You got the cold shoe already on there, put a microphone on it. So I can see using that fishing, but I can see that also for people that are vlogging with it. Right? You got microphone, you can put a light on it. Um, so pretty cool. Problem with that is it's not available yet, right? I'm checking their site daily. It doesn't even give you the option to sign up to be one of the first people to see it when it comes out. So we're just gonna wait until it comes out. It has another capability, which is interesting to me, is scheduled capture. So I can go into the settings, set it up so that it will come on at a certain time and record for a certain amount of time that I set into it and then stop recording, okay? So again, I hope you like this. If you want to check out some of my other stuff that I do with these GoPros, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up on this one and let me know in the comments if you would like, be interested in me doing a review after I've had it for a little while and got out there and put it through its paces. Okay, folks, uh, I think that wraps it up. We'll catch you all later. Peace out.